Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. This video is all about how to write a chemical formula. Now let's talk about a compound that is magnesium chloride. Now this magnesium chloride is an ionic compound since it is composed of ions that is magnesium and chloride ions. Now we know that magnesium ions are positive and thus we call them as cations and chloride ions are negatively charged ions and we call them as anions. Now this is the structure of magnesium chloride molecule and the atom here in the middle is magnesium and these two are the chlorine atoms. Now we write this magnesium chloride symbolically in a shorthand form as this MgCl2. Now this shorthand notation of magnesium chloride is what we call as the chemical formula of magnesium chloride. Now this chemical formula gives us two pieces of information that is first is the kinds of atoms that are there in this compound and the second information is number of each kind of atoms that are there in this compound. For instance this symbol or this chemical formula gives us information that there is a magnesium atom and chlorine atoms in this compound and the number of magnesium atoms is 1 and the number of chlorine atoms is 2. So these are the two informations that is provided from this chemical formula. Now the question here is how to move from this point to this point. That means how to write a chemical formula from the chemical name of a compound. So this is the question that we are going to address in this video. So the chemical formula of a compound is defined as the symbolic representation of its composition. Now for writing a chemical formula like this of magnesium chloride, we need to have two things in our mind. The first thing is the symbols of the atoms that are there in the compound and the valencies of those atoms. Now these two are the prerequisites of writing a chemical formula. These two informations has to be there in the mind whenever we go for writing a chemical formula like this. Now this is a table which has to be remembered in order to write a chemical formula. Now this table shows the name of the ions and their symbols, their valencies and these uh, are the uh, non-metallic ions that are there in the um, nature. And these are the metallic ions. Now we'll make use of this table to write the uh, chemical formula of magnesium chloride. Now what we have to do is we have to find magnesium and chlorine in this table and we have to find out what are the symbols and valencies. Now magnesium is somewhere here and we see that it is represented as Mg2 plus a magnesium ion and its valency is 2. And the chlorine ion is here, it's represented as Cl minus and we see that its valency is 1. Keeping all these information in mind, we'll move on to write its chemical formula. Now magnesium chloride, as I said, has magnesium ions and chloride ions. Now magnesium ion, as we saw, was represented like this, that is Mg2 plus and a chloride ion like this, Cl minus. Now from here we can see that it has a charge of 2 plus and a chloride ion has a charge of 1 minus. Now what we have to do here is to balance the charges in these two cases. Now we see that there are two positive charges and one negative charges. So it's clear that they don't balance each other. Uh, in order to balance these two charges, either we can increase the number here or we can increase the number of chloride ions here. Now since uh, the charge here is plus 2, I would put one more chlorine atom here or chloride ion. Now here we see that there are two negative charges and two positive charges and thus they completely balance each other. So our balancing the charges task is done. So we see that for balancing the charges we need two chloride ions for one magnesium ion. So we write the chemical formula as MgCl2. Now here we can notice that magnesium is a metal and chlorine is a non-metal. So whenever we write a uh, formula for a compound, we usually write the symbol of the metal at the front and then 
we write the symbol of the non-metallic atom that is present. Now this is the long process that we can follow for writing the compound, I mean the formula of any compound. But there is even a small procedure that we can follow and we can skip all these things. That is, first we need to write the symbol of the atoms that are involved, that is magnesium and chlorine. And then we need to write the valency that they have. That is, valency of magnesium is 2 and the valency of chlorine is 1. And the next step would be to cross over their valencies. That means 1 goes to magnesium and 2 goes to chlorine. And thus we can write its formula as MgCl2 since 2 goes to chlorine. Now similarly, in a similar manner, we can write the chemical formula for many other compounds. So let's do that. So here is hydrogen chloride. As the name suggests, we can clearly see that there must be hydrogen and chlorine atoms in this molecule. So we'll write the symbols first, that is hydrogen H and chlorine Cl. And again, we need to remember their valencies and write it. So the valency of hydrogen is 1. Again, the valency of chlorine is also 1. And the next step would be to cross over the valencies. And hence, the formula becomes HCl. Now here we can notice one thing that whenever there is one, uh, we have to represent one atom of a particular element in a, in a chemical formula, we do not usually write one here, but we just write the symbol. Again, for water we know uh, that it has hydrogen and oxygen atoms. So we write the symbol first, that is hydrogen H and oxygen O. Again, we write the valencies of hydrogen and oxygen, that is valency of hydrogen is 1 and for oxygen it's 2. And the next step as usual is to cross over their valencies, that is 2 goes to H and 1 goes to O. And hence their formula becomes H2O. So simple, right? Let's try some more examples. Now hydrogen sulphide, as we see that it must be having hydrogen and sulphur atoms in it. So we just need to write their symbols that is H and S and then again the valencies that is the valency of hydrogen is 1 and the valency of sulphur is 2 and the next step would be to cross over that is 2 goes to H and 1 goes to S and thus their formula would be similarly H2S. So these were simple examples. Let's move ahead and write some more examples. Now for calcium oxide, we may recognize that it must be composed of calcium atoms and oxygen atoms. So we'll follow the same steps that we did before. That is calcium Ca and oxygen O. We need to write the symbols first and their valencies. Both the valencies are 2. So next step is to cross over and we see here that following the same procedure, we write the formula as Ca2O2. But here comes a complication. Now we don't write the formula of calcium oxide like this. What we do is we write it simply as CaO. But whenever we come across a compound which has atoms with same valencies, we do not usually write the valencies here. We just put simply as CaO like this. Now carbon tetrachloride. From the name itself, we are figuring out that it must be having carbon and chlorine. So similarly, we will write the symbol of both of these, that is C and C, Cl. And their valencies. Carbon has a valency of 4 and chlorine has a valency of 1. And again, when crossing over, we can see that its formula becomes CCl4 because 4 has gone to Cl and 1 to C. Similarly, for aluminium oxide, we'll write the symbols first, that is Al for aluminium and oxygen O. And their valencies seem to be 3 for aluminium and 2 for oxygen. And again, if when we cross over, 2 goes to aluminium and 3 goes to oxygen. And thus, their formula becomes Al2O3. So these were the chemical formula and writing the chemical formula by following simple steps 
and i hope you like this video thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning